So you want to learn relativity? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to understand the theory of special relativity. And that is through space-time diagrams. You see, space-time diagrams make understanding relativity so easy and so intuitive that you just need to know them. So here it is. Relativity is quite an easy subject to understand because it just boils down to two rules. And if you can understand these two rules, then you can understand the theory of special relativity. Rule number one, all motion is relative. Now take this earth and moon for example. If you're on the moon, then the earth is revolving around you. But if you're on the earth, then the moon is revolving around you. Which perspective is right? Is there a preferred perspective? Well, we could just accept that both perspectives are right. You would be right in saying that the earth is revolving around the moon or the moon is revolving around the earth. It doesn't make a difference. And that's the first rule of special relativity. One thing that is universal is that the Earth and Moon are both in motion relative to each other. Rule number two, light is the same speed no matter the frame of reference. Let's say there are two friends A and B playing catch. A throws a ball at B at 10 meters per second. B sees the ball coming at him at 10 meters per second and catches it. Now let's say this time B is moving away from A at 5 meters per second when A throws the ball at B at 10 meters per second. So B would see the ball coming at him at 10 minus 5, 5 meters per second. Now let's say this time B is moving towards A at 5 meters per second when A threw the ball at B at 10 meters per second. This time B would see the ball coming at him at 15 meters per second. You see how the speed of the ball changes for B depending on how he moves relative to A. Now let's replace the ball with light particles. No matter how B moves towards or away, faster or slower, the speed at which B sees the light particles coming towards him is always 300 million meters per second. It never changes. And that is the second rule of relativity. All right, now that you know the two rules of relativity, you just need to know one last thing. This special ingredient is what makes relativity so intuitive and easy to understand. And this tool is space-time diagrams. Let's say we want to specify the position of a ball. You draw a grid around it and then say that the ball is 4 ticks to the right and 3 ticks up. Thus, the x-axis represents the length across and the y-axis represents the height. The space-time diagram is literally the same thing, except the y-axis measures time. One thing to remember is that you're always traveling through time. A stationary ball might not be moving through space but is always traveling through time into the future. Let's represent this stationary ball on the space-time diagram. The ball is at x equals 3 at 2 pm and is also at x equals 3 at 3 pm and also at 4 pm. If you connect the dots, you'd see that it is a straight line. This line is known as the world line for the ball. Now let's say that the ball starts to move in the x direction. To represent this on the space-time diagram, let's see what the world line would be at every second. So the ball is at x equals 0, at t equals 0. Then the ball is at x equals 1, at t equals 1. And then the ball is at x equals 2, at t equals 10. Now if you connect the dots, it's a slanted line. Anything that moves with a constant velocity will always be represented by a line with some gradient. The faster the object is moving, 
the less slanted the line will be. Light moves at a speed of 300 million meters per second and so the world line for light would be much less steeper. If this is the world line for light, then anything moving in this section of the space-time diagram is moving faster than the speed of light and anything here is moving slower than the speed of light. That wasn't it. Now that you know the first two rules of relativity and what is a space-time diagram, in the next video, I'm going to combine these three things to show you how intuitive special relativity can be. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more such videos. I'll see you next time.